working you okay um so uh, first of all thank you very much uh, for attending the workshop and to uh, go all the way to here and i think uh, i'm the one i mean i really appreciate that you take this long travel to come to here and i'm the one who's who had the least amount of travel to do because i just live opposite i just had to cross the street to come here so but some of you had to cross uh, many continents uh, countries to come here so that's very much appreciated and um, so personally i see this workshop as a as a kind of uh, you know first date and uh, where you you know talk to each other hug each other like red one did a lot maybe there were even some kisses involved i don't know but it's oh, like a first date and a start and could be maybe yeah the start of something like a relationship and this is uh, what we now should work on to strengthen this relationship yeah <laughs> okay so um so there were some questions um maybe also from the people who are on the live stream and in particular now the they're seeing this and the first question would be, hey, uh, you're talking about open source and then you use a PowerPoint and, and Word and so on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's something to, to Im be improved. But this is uh, ESA, uh, ESA laptop, so we had no choice. Um, okay, so the world is not perfect yet. Um, then the one point is uh, how, how to how to stay somehow in contact. And uh, one thing is that, um, first of all, after the workshop, we are going to publish uh, the video um, of this workshop on the website. And uh, well, I hope that, should that would be okay for every one of you. Um, then also there was the questions, and also we will would like to put the presentations there. I think that's also okay with you. Uh, then the other thing is that I have basically the list of all the participants uh, and their emails and their affiliation. So I'm not going to put this on the website because it's not good to have an uh, email on a website. <laughs> um, but um, what I would like to do is I would like or I would like to send this list to every one of you. But it could be that either you want to update your information or you don't want to have this. You don't maybe want to share your email with this group for whatever strange reason um, and then please send me an email that you don't want to be it's a little bit a paradox so you send me an email that you don't want to be have an email being sent uh, whatever you won't get, get emails do you really get an email no <laughs> <laughs> okay and uh, yeah now it's i think that's that's um so I mean, it's gonna be an open discussion now, and uh, so you can come up with any points that are on your mind. And uh, the first would be uh, communication. I see Pierre Rossi wants to add a comment. You wanna talk about that, or? Excuse me? Is there already a next day planned for the... A next okay. planned workshop. Is there, is there another workshop planned? Yeah. So, yes, we are going to have uh, another workshop next year. Uh, we just don't know yet where and exactly when and exactly who is going to do it. But surely this peop th they're in the audience, so... Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're going to be here to back you up any if you need to, to organize this one. Hey, Renan, come here on the stage because yeah. I don't want to be here alone. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyone who would like to be on the stage, yeah, 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 uh, yeah, just come up here. Can sit here and it's too so, um, yeah. Yeah, before we go into the specifics about how we can stay in touch and some, some thoughts that we had about, about that, uh, you know, discussion forums, mailing lists, BBS channels, or, you know, just kidding. But um, <laughs> um, I just want to say something about the next uh, open source uh, CubeSat workshop. I mean, it, it's obvious that we want to keep doing that uh, with a regular cadence and you know, like in probably almost the same format and we're going to be accepting, you know, more and more feedback around this. So if you have any feedback about the format, please do email us or reach out to us, you know, after the end of this wrap up session, uh, because we really <laughs> value that. Mm -hmm. um, and 
there are some thoughts right now whether we should, uh, for the next uh, open source CubeSat workshop, whether we should have it here uh, still in Europe and probably even here in uh, e ESCOC. Mm -hmm. um, or um, due to already expressed feedback, actually move it overseas to uh, the other side of the Atlantic mm -hmm. so that um, you know everything that's happening on our North American friends on the open source CubeSat scene can be also showcased and uh, you know, uh, seen. Mm -hmm. So we are trying to figure out how this can happen and who can host it on the other side. And we are always here to help in the process of organizing it. And of course, I suspect that there is always the fallback option uh, mm -hmm. of doing know, it in ESA, right? Just staying yeah. here. But that's, that's an ongoing discussion, right? And we want to accommodate as many people as possible and you know, take into account many considerations, including visa considerations, access to space, and you know, other things, to physical space, not actual space, but yeah. <laughs> um, so. Um, the space between us. Yeah, the space, <laughs> which is not that, that big. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we're super excited about uh, the outcome of this event. I mean, at, at least personally, I feel that it was like, you know, tremendously impactful on the way that we view ourselves in the industry because we're all part of a space industry and just identifying that we're not only, you know, three or four crazy ones discussing about open source in, uh, in, uh, in this, you know, mindset, um, then it actually, you know, is super helpful uh, to just voice that and see the other faces that are thinking uh, aloud and alike like you. Mm. Um, so yeah, yeah, I think uh, over those two days we've we've seen that you're making things real, and that's amazing. So uh, and uh, it's open source, and that's the other amazing thing. So and it's all, all across the world. So we've got India, Japan, and uh, and Nepal. We got Argentina. All Argentina knows they are here, so that's that's really cool. Uh, I wanted to make a vote like U.S. or Europe. It's it's inappropriate. Yeah, no, yeah, no, it is. <laughs> it is. So, uh, I think it should be like this: that um, like uh, with the World Cup, yeah. So you have a so uh, people apply or countries applying for it, and then uh, there will be a democratic decision. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. I would say that if already somebody here who had came here and already had the idea to uh, to do the workshop, then say it now. Okay. If not, then we find another way. But it should. It's a. You know. Yeah. It's a, it's a, it should be. Where yeah. Yeah, it yeah. We shouldn't be we just a couple of people deciding this, right? And yeah. if there are valid options on any place around the world, then you know. Yeah, guys. In my opinion, I think uh, I just don't belong to anyone. So this idea is not the first. Maybe we had the mean to do it, but uh, you, all of them, I think, I'm pretty sure you ha you would have had the same idea, like gathering open source and gives us. So. Okay. Then uh, uh, next topic, and uh, I personally will not be on the stage anymore because I feel more comfortable here. All you right. can do that same. Right. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, uh, yeah you're right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, was this not there? So, 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 are we going to be talking about communication channels? Yes. Okay, so many people have asked this, like um, so much information, so many, you know, conversations that have happened on the hallways and, you know, between the talks and on breaks. Uh, and most of them, you know, always had this piece of information that you actually needed to hold at that point, like a link to software or something that happened, you know, or a project that you probably know or something. So there is obviously a need to actually catalog as much of that as possible, uh, not only for us that, you know, we might have heard that, but also you know, for the new people that are coming in and they would like some reference around open source and space. So right now, um, this takes the form, I think, of uh, two different things. Okay, thank you. And you can go a little bit here if you want, yeah. Um, so yeah, that, that, that could take the form of um, two different things. There's one which is, you know, what could be a channel of kind of like immediate type of communication, like IM type of communication. So think about a uh, um, okay, cool. Uh, think about an IRC channel or you know something like that. Um, there are pretty valid IRC channel options right now, and you don't have to have an IRC client for those of you that are afraid of the past. Um, so Riot IM, that's a matrix interface to IRC. It's super nice technology. Um, it's a web uh, application that actually gets you access to IRC channels, and we already have a channel uh, established for Libre Technologies in Space, 
um, and that's bound libre space. That's a, a channel that we actually, you know, are around. Um, there is also the channel of specifically the conference itself. So put those two. Okay, cool. Um, libre space, not foundation. Yeah, that's that's good. That's not, you know, necessarily things about the Libre Space Foundation. It's just that we hijacked the name, I guess. But yeah. <laughs> um, so regarding, um, that's for the immediate type of things, right? Um, then we were thinking about how can we set up a wiki or something which is more like a forum so that we can discuss ideas about missions or uh, there are many projects that uh, approached us um, around um, I'm one or two people and we're building a Python library and we want to have something like a place that we can discuss about it and gather feedback about it. And why not actually reuse something that we already have? And up until now, we've set up a discourse instance. Uh, and I'm sure how many of you have heard about discourse? Like the forum, which is not a forum because it's awesome. Okay, that, that kind of uh, software. Um, so if you write it down, that would be the instance that we have for that is community.libre.space. Um, and that's basically um, a forum-like functionality together with a wiki type of thing that you can do on pages. Many other communities are using it successfully right now. Um, and it's I think that it can be really adapted to, to host multiple different projects in terms of the discussions that they're having uh, right there. And of course, this is not a, an attempt to, if you already have your own you know, discussion forums and everything else, like you should keep them and nurture them and you know, expand them. Um, but we, we feel that uh, there could be like a single roof uh, that we can be under, uh, especially if your project is not big enough to you know, have their own uh, um, forums and your own uh, I think the nice thing also <coughs> is that you have uh, this forum uh, option, but you also have, uh, you can make a profile because I mean, uh, just from by the name and the email, you might not easily remember uh, the face to it. So if you register at this particular forum and uh, you create a bio, then uh, we c it's better, easier to keep in touch. But before we continue or go to the next question that we had on our mind, yeah. Just a clarification, yeah. the, the community Libre.space is not used by Libre Space Foundation projects only. Like we have Satnox in there, yes, we have you know other things, but it's also Librecube has their own uh, topic in there, Zpredict has their own you know subsection in there. So we're just adding multiple projects around open source basically and space. So, so you will be in there too. And now, uh, before we continue, I just give the micro microphone randomly to uh, someone here, and then you have to give your feedback on this workshop, or pass the mic. To Hi, uh, I'm very glad that I could uh, attend it, and uh, thank you very much for uh, organizing that and bringing me the opportunity to uh, to learn m many new things. So uh, yeah, I have to thank. Yes. So just in terms of the scope of the workshop, so it is officially called the Open Source CubeSat workshop, right? Um, and, and I'm wondering whether there isn't a, an argument to say it should be the Open Space workshop. I'm wondering whether CubeSat is even a necessary component, because a lot of the discussions here have not necessarily even touched on it having to be about CubeSats. So I, that would be my only suggestion. Maybe that also invites a wider community uh, into the discussion. I think, yeah, that's a super valid comment. Um, I think that the community was already invited in a sense because we ended up not with only CubeSat, you know, specific uh, things. I think that the rationale behind it was basically that we identified that most open source efforts that w we saw when we first, you know, tried to reach out to people were around CubeSats. And it would be much easier for us to, you know, confine, confine that scope uh, at that point. But it was immediately after the submissions uh, came in, it was evident that the scope is larger, which is much more, you know, uh, exciting and we're super happy about it. Um, so yeah, that's a valid thing that we should consider uh, about the naming it. Or not. I guess we will just or stick not to Arthur, the name, but uh, we add a disclaimer that anyone is invited. <laughs> okay. Yeah, um, what else? <laughs> how to stay in contact, yeah, how to do... 
for the sphere. Uh, okay. No, I was trying to change the comments. Ah, yeah, okay. Pass the microphone. So, yeah. yeah. So, please do chime in with comments around, you know, yeah. channels, possibilities, what would you like to see more, you know, next more time? More, more interactions or less talk or, or more demos, more hands on, more days. A sponsor result. Yeah. I come back. <laughs> well, please less sponsored results. <laughs> also more more talks. I, I uh, like the idea. Yes, idea yesterday to have a workshop to to uh, talk about ideas and. Um, such things now uh, today the workshop didn't really happen where I was we talked about uh, other things mainly uh, it has had to do with the uh, air not with space so but more 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 workshops maybe some um, ideas up front where you either ask for ideas where we can have workshop about workshop about or um, uh, present some things like topics so you can um, come and join and already have some ideas uh, where where you can attend and wh how you can interact with the people but for now for the first um, uh, workshop here I, I think this was uh, pretty good because we got a, a very wide range of um, uh, um, talks and uh, um, I, I even uh, uh, we, we even saw three different projects now joining uh, up together, which is great. And uh, yes, thank you. Uh, by talk, you mean presentation? presentation? Okay, then you should thank me because uh, if it was uh, for Red One, we only would have half of the <laughs> talks. So uh, there was always this uh, discussion about uh, because the work groups are more interactive and we kind of felt, at least I felt, that we were running a little bit out of time for this really active discussion. I mean, it's nice to have talks, uh, but in the end, it's uh, what happens in between the breaks when you have this discussion that, so, it's yeah. An equilibrium to have, yeah. It's an yeah. equilibrium to have, so also, I wanted to have the, the war groups here because it's easy, so you don't have to go somewhere else, which is a bit uh, awkward. We only need to have all the rooms also, so the structure is very, it's very important, right, Ivan? the microstructure, so if you had a round table, you see everybody. If you have a square table like yesterday, then you, what, 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 uh, what's happening? And if you have people turning around. So the format is one thing, but how you execute it is another one. And that's, uh, that's maybe you can have feedback on that. So first of all, I would like to congratulate uh, Arthur and Red for the organization. I think it has been great. Only one comment on my side about the elevator pitches, I think that they they are quite useful, so I would propose to do them at the beginning of the workshop for people that uh, couldn't submit an abstract or or d they are not mature enough to present uh, something, but they want to talk about what they are doing, so they may be contacted by others that may share interest. I think this could be a good uh, a good thing for the future. Yeah, good point. Uh, another thing is uh, about software tools, open source software. So uh, I mentioned in my talk also that there's uh, basically for all the jobs, uh, any anything that you want to do, there's an open source tool. But uh, some are better than others. And uh, we should be able, we should share this experience and we should think about how we can do this, maybe in the forum or some other ways. Klaas? Yeah, uh, I want to take this chance also to say uh, uh, very uh, many thanks again to the to the organization. I think it was quite quite perfect. Uh, one re one remark from my side would be um, that we should try to engage uh, more the the hacker maker community. I think there are a few people here, but not so many. I think most most of the people actually have some sort of space background. So I would I would love to see more engagement with the with the hacker maker uh, community. And I would also uh, uh, invite everyone here to uh, come to the Cars Communication Congress. If it's not already sold out, I don't know.
I think I would like to hear some uh, uh, more about uh, what happens when the uh, CubeSat is on the space, like what happens afterward, what, what problems can it solve, and... Uh, yeah, like uh, what happens after. Very good point. So, yeah, uh, in fact, uh, <laughs> the, end of the, the theme of this, uh, so th there's a theme under this workshop, and uh, we say it's, uh, we put the focus on mission operations because we're here in ESOC, and I think this is really, that's um, missing, missed out a little bit, and the CubeSat community to focus on the operations and also present the results. And uh, yeah, we should m put more focus on this as well. You put another point on the uh, list on the Hacker Maker community, just uh, talk about hardware and uh, not only the software. Mm -hmm. yeah, if, you, if you know anyone doing uh, open source GPU, <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> we'll see. Jan? Yeah. Just what what you mentioned the operations thing, um, because ESA reaches out a lot for uh, building your your stuff, getting it to space, but also maybe to uh, teach a little bit more about the operations aspect. And maybe we could put that a little bit more into the into the scope. Okay. Some <laughs> Maybe I have a, a, a feedback from uh, the inside uh, point of view. Uh, we say, uh, so we were discussing a lot with uh, Piero, Sartre and I, and uh, close to us we had some people, Paolo, Ivan and Mario and all the chairs that you've seen. Uh, but uh, the main drivers were Arthur and I, and, uh, and Piero was, uh, was he always here. Uh, but the thing is that it's very hard to so, like the war groups, I would have loved to do it uh, in another way. So it's very hard to to reach out to volunteers and to to, to get uh, fresh minds, and they understand they have to drive the thing by themselves, because uh, it's, it's very hard to to do project management for uh, the organization or workshop. So, having having volunteers is uh, would be wonderful. Yeah. So uh, somehow I feel uh, we should, you know, like I feel this tension that. People want to really give a big hand of applause to all the organization team and everyone involved. So yeah, don't yeah. hold back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. So I, um, I would also like to encourage every one of you that if you uh, when you attend. Uh, other CubeSat or uh, space conferences to think about. Maybe you can promote further uh, the idea of open source uh, because I've, and Redwan as well, we have been at the uh, CubeSat industry day, so some workshop for CubeSats and you see a lot of vendors and uh, we are kind of the uh, in the uh, how does it cage of lions <laughs> when yeah, we were talking about open uh, source. So a, a free electron in confined plasma. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so yeah, promote but open source. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Kathy. So one maybe a little bit more wild idea that introduces a somewhat competitive element to the event is if you have the option to request, you know, everyone to put in 50 bucks, you know, we have 100 people here, you end up with 5,000 bucks. And if based on, you know, projects that are presented, at the end you have the ability for the crowd to decide where to put that 5,000 bucks in to support some initiative, some project, it's a way also perhaps to have a lasting effect and as the community to show that we really, that you know, the idea is really to do stuff. Um, I don't know whether you want to involve some sort of financial element to it, but it's another way maybe to create something that goes beyond, let's say, the two days. Yeah. So uh, in other words, you mean uh, gathering donations to fund uh, a project that we decide during the workshop? Yeah. yeah. Some sort of community fund. Community fund. So some sort of community fund, and in fact, I would say like it's like at the end of this session, uh, the two days, it would be vote-based or something, but you would have a chance, you know, everyone would have a chance to 
talk to people to tell them what their yes, interest the is fact. and submit their idea. And you know, by the end, you have this, let's say, pool of 5,000 bucks that you can put into a project. Just the feeling uh, about this idea of warming, yes? <gasps> yes. 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 Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> So uh, we uh, had yes this discussion uh, uh, if we are going to... Uh, no, no, not this one exactly. No, but yeah, we had the discussion about if we are going to uh, ask for a registration fee. So the thing yeah, is, we... So thanks to ESA again uh, for letting us hosting this event here because uh, we don't have to pay for this room. So and that's, I think, a big cost factor. So in fact, uh, our costs are very low. You have to pay your own lunch uh, and so on and the dinner last uh, yesterday. So we don't have didn't have so much costs and... Um, so we didn't need the uh, and we had uh, sponsors. So um, the only reason, in fact, that we would have asked for a registration fee was to get a little bit more commitment to make sure that people are really coming and not saying, OK, there's a nice movie in the cinema, so I'm not going to the uh, open source CubeSat workshop. Mm -hmm. So uh, but in the end, it turned out that um, all the people who registered for this event, they were so you know motivated to go there that uh, and they had to pay their own travel. So I think that was really unnecessary to have even more commitment. Yeah, of course. Uh, I, so unless for the next organizers you really have uh, to pay, uh, uh, you know, the the event, I would say keep it free. Uh, but yeah, the thing is that it's very special here. So uh, another event somewhere, you would have uh, more. I mean, financial judging from other open source conferences or related community conferences, there are always ways around it, right? Um, like their universities willing to give their their facilities and you know talks their public um, sector kind of like agencies or like a ESA that are doing that. So keeping an event like this free is at least in t to our mind, you know, um, crucial for participation and true to the notion of openness regarding the access to knowledge uh, in a non-gated approach. Of course, there are you know extreme examples that we you know, there's nowhere around it, so I guess that could be considered as an option. I should just clarify, I didn't mean a registration. Yeah, yeah, yeah obviously, obviously. Yeah. Okay, Kaltik yeah. didn't mean a registration, but yeah, Philip. Thanks. Uh, one more suggestion. Um, I think we are live. Is it right? We are. <laughs> we are online and live. Um, maybe there's a chance to um, get some feedback live from those guys interactions from pretty good point like yeah. there's a screen where i don't know some questions are showing up yeah. and questions i guess and yeah, questions yeah. Um, not directly related but slightly related it makes me think that um Perhaps we could have done more to uh, promote like the hashtag on Twitter and some of those. I mean, it's done really well, but it but we could it could have been a bit more visible beforehand. What what the hashtags and things were going to be to try and engage people to be looking at it on the two days. Good point. So uh, adding to that, it's. Uh, it Maybe an idea or a nice trick is to just have the Twitter feed with a hashtag on, on a monitor somewhere. And um, so you can get live feedback from the internet. This is, um, it's been working great at many, many conferences. Yeah, I'm gonna make it more generic than Twitter, but yep. <laughs> yes. You all want to go home. <laughs> How about some uh, feedback from US? We have two US participants here. <laughs> Not singling out anyone, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, no pressure. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, I I come from from uh, not a space background, uh, and so I'm a bit of a CubeSat noob. Uh, and so for me, this was very encouraging to come here uh, to learn everything that was presented, and to realize that the community is very welcoming. Um, and is very committed to driving uh, the democratization of space forward. Um, and yeah, I was, I was very encouraged. As far as feedback goes, um, I don't have anything to add to what's been listed here, but um, I, would def I will definitely come back next year. So. It was fun, thanks. <laughs> Okay.
Okay, I think that's all, and uh, the rest by email or forum. Um, so yeah, thanks again, again, um, again, 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 again. for <laughs> being here. Uh, you have to go now. <laughs> we have to clean up. Boo! <laughs> and um, yeah, how to do this? Uh, how to say goodbye? See you next year. Like that's. See you online and see you next year and keep being awesome and create open source for space. Yay! <laughs>